If you could remember, we've attacked our Windows PC, which is just here. Cool. Which is just here, our Windows PC. And how does a Windows know that um, someone has attacked its PC with that kind of file? So all we need to do is, um, let me minimize it and go back to the Windows PC. So here we are on Windows. Okay. So all you need to do is open up your browser. I'll show you two tools that you need to use. All right, get what download Windows. Why is it so slow? All right, so I'll choose this link from soft. Softonic, okay. Click on it. And I can also open a new tab and type um, and type download. CCP view of that. Why is my network so slow? Okay. So because it's a virtual machine, that's why it's running slow like that. And all right, cool. All right. So here is it. That's it. Let me click on TCP view. Now to from Softonic. You can also get it from Microsoft directory. Directly. Okay. Okay. So we're going to free download, so just click on it. And then download. No thanks, continue to download. Unless you want to download our rest. Just click on it. Okay, the TCP view. Now it's here. It's not ready yet. All right. Let's click on download. Okay. So it's downloading. So TCP is already. I'll just click on download. So just click on download here for TCP view download. So download is ready. I don't know why. Okay. Alright, so K-Port is downloading and it should finish. It's very small file, but alright. So TCP view. Click on it. Cool. Now it's downloading, so let's just wait for it. Alright, so it's it's downloading. Alright. So basically all you need to do is to go back to your folder, you can just minimize it. Alright, come to download. Alright, so you can see TCP view here, and then Kport. So let's start with Kport first. To detect that Windows has actually attacked us, um, Kali has attacked us. All right. Cool. So open up this. Just double click on it to run it. Or maybe we can right click on it. Let's see. Okay. And I open it up. No, just run it. Run. Alright, so it has opened up. So let's see. Let me maximize it. Alright, let's see where the problem is coming from. Okay. So let's start. Um, Alright, so I'm trying to look for it. So 
let's see okay so it is it so port 999 something is established between these two and so let me double click on it all right so you can see it clearly that is the remote ports that cause a connection between this and this yeah cool and let me open up Kport. Kport will actually show you the file that let me open up sorry tcp view which will actually show you the file that got involved let me open it up and go back so tcp view so now i'm going to run so this application just run it run All right, let's do yes. All right, agree. And let's open up. Sure. Let me maximize it. Wait for it. Good, good, good. All right. So this is it. So let's look at um, the file that was established between Windows and Kali. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. So that's it. So this is our payload and KTEC and port 999 established. So you can double click on it. You can see. All right. So if you want to stop the attack, you can just click on end process. All right, so let me show you Kali. So in Kali, this is this is a file. This is where the file is on the Telegram desktop. And on Windows, it's also showing you that it's on the Telegram desktop. So I can just end process. Are you sure you want to terminate payload? Yes, terminate it. And that will be the best thing to do. All right, cool. Good. So now, you can see it gave a sound. That, all right, cool. So, Basically, that has how to detect um, major attack on a network. So you can use Kpot in that. So actually, on Kpot, you can do the same thing by making sure that you move the connection between the two. Where is it? Is it? So now you can just close the selected connection. Tracks you? Yes, close it. Good. 